things covered today. Welcome, it's the 6th of May, 2021. This is Jenkins Documentation Office Hours. Reminder that we follow the Jenkins Code of Conduct. Be nice to each other. So Diraj, I don't have any particular topics that were hot for me. Are there topics that you would like to bring? Things that you wanted to discuss? Mm, well, nothing specific from my side. Just few doubts, like very small um, not doubts about um, JCASC docs. I think it's just a one question, basically. Great. Well, let's so let's that, put that on the list. Just a minute. So, five, six. Mm -hmm. And topics, uh, gender. Okay, so uh, JCASC documentation question or JCASC question. And Kristen, I, I'm not sure you have any others. So let's just go ahead right into that topic. So Diraj, what's your question? And let's talk about it. So last time, um, last time we discussed that uh, there are already some contribution guidelines present for uh, maintainers as well as uh, for the new users for jcask right and you also redirected me to github read me as well and all of the instructions were very clear and very nice so my just simple question is that what qualifies an article to be published at jenkins.io's website from github read me because i think that sounds more looks more professional if it's on Jenkins website mm -hmm. so that's yeah so so are you interested one one of the ways that we take content into Jenkins.io is with with documentation submissions that go inside the uh, inside the documentation so on www.jenkins.io another is a blog post so if you're interested in trying some experiments exploring a little bit and then writing about your journey doing that exploration then a blog post would be just fine if you would if you say no i'd rather write about how to use configuration as code in production and i want to do i want to do writing like it was a manual and be able to to point people to this here's an example of my writing of a professional quality manual then you'd probably submit to the jenkins documentation rather than as a blog which, which of those two is more interesting to you? I think blog one sounds more interesting to me. Good, okay, so. That would be great. Like any type of like, hey, I'm trying it out. I'm experimenting. Here's what I found out. That, that would be so helpful to a lot of people, so. Exactly. Yeah, so. so yes, go ahead. So one thing I noticed is that in previous to previous meeting, Mark, you showed me that how we can extract a UI snippet from the main Jenkins YAML file. When you go to view configuration tabs in uh, Jenkins on the site, right? JCAS. Mm -hmm. So you asked me that you can extract the snippet out of it very easily and just know how we can configure a plugin using JCAS. So this thing, was very helpful for me to know how we can use jcast then i noticed that in gitter chat there was a message from somebody else she seemed like an experienced guy and he was asking how i can uh, find out that this xyz plugin can be configured with the uh, jcast or not so then uh, tim suggested the same thing go to J jenkins ui configure it and get it so what so this uh, suggests that not much people know about this feature that you can actually go there and do that. So I was wondering, as Kristen also suggested that you can document anything you are finding out along the way. So this would be a nice thing as well, I think. That, that would that would be that excellent. Would be and one of the one of the things that you might consider to make your blog even more interesting, if you could record a two minute demonstration of doing exactly that so that people just just record your screen so that people see what the clicks you're making because many times they they 
read the words and fail to make the transition to what is the action I must take on the screen. Whereas when they see the video playing, and, and it, it's, it probably should not be not longer than, you know, the shorter is better. So 60 seconds or two, two minutes is much better. What you do then is you, you record that video. And for instance, I record mine with Zoom. I just turn on Zoom, a meeting of one, and share my screen, record it, and then download it. And, and it lets me use it. It's a very simple screen recorder. It doesn't have to show my face. It's all just shared screen. And, and then you can embed that video inside. And what we would do is we would host your video on the Jenkins YouTube channel. And that what that then gives us is it gives us measurements of how many people have clicked through to watch the video. And so we can now take hints. Oh, good. Did, did video supporting a blog post help it? Or were, no, there weren't that many people who looked at it. So yes, if you're willing to do a blog of, hey, my first time experience using, using configuration as code and highlight, highlight these kinds of things where you say, look, you, you, you absolutely, can I use this plugin? Yes, I can. Here it is. I configured it in, in the usual system. Now I open up configuration as code. Here it is. And I paste that into my, my configuration and I'm set. Exactly. That sounds like something I can do and would be really interesting to do as well. Great. Good. Okay. Yeah. So, so it, it, the other for me is the, if, if the video, if the screen recording is interesting to you, it's interesting for me because I'm curious if it helps people or not. If we get more positive hits, if, if we get many, many accesses of that video, I did that technique with the Git plugins documentation and have been amazed at the number of people who click through and watch that video, all two minutes of it, right? I mean, it's very brief. So this is how you use this thing. And, and uh, lots of people seem to like to see a video of what's happening much more than they like to read. Exactly. You showed that with uh, views previously as well. It has lots and lots of views comparatively. Right. Yeah. Okay, good. So, well, that's, that's good. So first time experiences with configuration as code. If you're, if you're interested, well, I think I, I linked you, I provided you the link to the repository where I track my configuration as code, right? So if, if you wanna see some examples, now that thing's evolved over years. So it's, it's not a great choice to put in your blog. Your blog should be your experience where you, you share with people look, I did this and I did this and I changed the description of my Jenkins server and I changed these things to, to make it valuable to me. Definitely, that makes sense. Great, excellent. All right. Now, Dirash, have you been able to have you been able to create a development environment that will allow you to work on the Jenkins.io site yet? Maybe that's something that you, you might need some assistance with. Sometimes people find that a little bit challenging to be able to build the site locally and see how it looks. <clears throat> As of now, I think I don't, I haven't done that yet. I think I need to look for it first. Okay, so, yeah, so, so I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put into the notes a link to the, the how to get started for that, for that site so you know how to do your, how to, how to get, begin a blog post. So here in the contributing file, and for your help, it's also posted in the chat here, so the Jenkins.io repository there has a contributing file. And we like to think it's easy to use, but we had bumps and bruises for our last contributor that, that was using it. So don't be shy at saying, gee, I don't know what it takes to make this work. Are you now, are you Windows based or Linux based or Mac OS? Linux. Linux, okay, good. So you have chosen wisely, good choice. Yes. In this case, because it's 
the the environment is known to work quite well on Linux. So so it, I do my development on Linux. I think Kristen, if, when she does doc development, probably does hers on Linux. Yeah. I know Meg McRoberts does hers on Linux. So yes, we've got some Windows-based people, but Linux is, we know works. Great. That's awesome. All right. Any, any other questions that you have? Not as of now. That was my main question. Like, how to uh, send a book? That was me. Excellent. Thank you. And thank you for being awake at this late hour of your night. I assume it is the middle, darkest, darkest part of your night. So thanks for being here. Very much appreciated. Thank you so much. It's, it's totally fine. Excellent. I, I don't have any other topics. Kristen, did you have any other topics that you wanted to bring? Um, no. Do, do we need to talk about, is there anything for a contributor summit? Excuse oh, me. Um, I oh. don't know if we have anything for, I just like just thought of that. I don't know if, if we're ready to talk about that or if there's anything that we need specifically for docs. That, that's a very good one. Let me, let me put up a shared screen and let's talk about what's there currently awesome. and then we can refine it. Absolutely. Okay, cool. So. Cool. Okay, so what I'm going to do is bring up here are the notes from today, and then we need to look at the contributor summit, which the way I find the notes for it is I go to Jenkins.io, look at the blog on contributor summit. No, where is where? Is, oh no, 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 sorry. It's community over. How? Where is? Just a minute. Contributor Summit at CDCon. Okay, so Contributor, oh, it's right, there it is. Contributor Summit, okay. This one, and here, down at the bottom, is the Coordination Google Doc. And what I had put into this doc was for Jenkins documentation, the topics we would be discussing, Jenkins and Kubernetes as a, the documentation for Jenkins and Kubernetes as a funded outreach project likely to start September of 2021. We don't have final approval yet, but it feels like it's a, a reasonable thing to do. And we've actually got good work already started from, um, oh dear, from Sudakar, who's, who's started an outline and has already started plans for how to write on it. So, so that was my thought was one. The other was contributor onboarding. And now Diraj will be a good test for us. How, what's the experience for a new contributor onboarding on Linux? And we'll, we'll learn from that. We know uh, Windows had several difficulties for, for Xenob during Google season of Docs 2020. Then I had content improvements including the wiki migration project. Are there other things you think we should put onto the list for, for a documentation track? Um, no, but it's good to see this for right now. Um, I, it'd be also interesting to hear if there's any um, teacher proposals. I'm not sure really definitely the contributor onboarding improvements. And I almost feel like we're missing some of the stuff around the uh, getting started with Jenkins development. I feel like from contributor thought, maybe like that was something that we need. I don't know if that falls under the wiki migration project, maybe. Well, or, or well, it actually. It probably does actually. I don't think well, about this, it's like a wait, it probably so, does. So, but, but if, I took, if I took it under contributor onboarding, contributor onboarding is certainly a hot topic right now. Mm -hmm. And maybe what we should say using what we learned from she code Africa yeah. to improve the experience. Yeah. Cool. That, that's perfect. And, and really this is, this is not just because they weren't actually doing per se documentation development. They happened to be writing documentation, but they were inside code doing it. And so it was really developer experience for programmers and writers. Right. Right. It, this isn't just 
this isn't this isn't a thing about just documentation improvements. We learned some things there that, oh, hey, it's better if we do it this way right. for someone who's not not got Java experience or who has not never done Maven before. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Very good. Cool. I'm glad to see that this is what we've got for uh we've got a lot for contrib for um contributor summit. This is exciting. Yeah, so let's see. And 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 we've got the She Code Africa retrospective tomorrow to gather and sort of refine that into into a better set of actions. Good. Okay, great. Now, one of the things that that we had on, let's see, I had submitted the roadmap pull request proposing, maybe let's take a look at that for just a minute if you're okay with that, where I submitted a pull request to update the roadmap based on our February work. So in February, we had these slides that we presented, continue the 2020 roadmap, uh, plug-in docs, wiki docs, and terminology increase the outreach. So we said we'd mentor She Code Africa, we did that. The Google season of docs, we got rejected, so that won't work. And then we said improve onboarding. So those are, those are I think, still aligned. Then this one, wiki migration is probably a bigger thing than, than is described in this contributor summit, because there's a lot to do for us to, before we can actually migrate off wiki. Yeah, so that that maybe what we should put there is timing, leader, etc. And then there was yeah, so does does that seem reasonable to you, Kristen? Yeah. Okay. All right. Great. And and Oleg is currently watching over and shepherding this this document. So hopefully he'll approve those proposed changes as we get closer to Contributathon, or as we get closer to the Contributor Summit. Excellent. include a, a link to this. Very good. All right. Anything else? Great. Thank you. I'll, I'll, we'll end the meeting. I will post the recording of the meeting in probably 20 or 30 minutes. Right, Thanks great. very much, everyone. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye.